ourselves up for the trip, you know? Camping! I don't know why I did that, Zivan. Don't do that. It's not funny. <sighs> huge shout out to anyone who has subscribed to my channel sent me a couple messages I seriously want to thank you because it means so much to me as a new creator that you have come along this journey with me it's been really fun to do and I hope that you guys just keep enjoying my life here in Israel so if you haven't yet subscribed make sure you do that it would really warm my Israeli American heart and we could just keep creating content together so this is a really fun video because I've been talking about doing this with my fiance and our friends for over a year now and the fact that we did it just blows my mind <laughs> It was so much fun. We went camping. We went camping here in Israel. If you ever get the chance to do it here in Israel, I highly recommend it. It is so beautiful. There are so many spots here in Israel that you can go camping and the spots are just breathtakingly gorgeous. Like these you will see are so beautiful. I could have stayed there for days, but we only had one night. So we made the most of it and I wanna walk you through our journey. It is very early in the morning and we are getting ready to go camping. We started super early in the morning to get a kickstart on our day so that we could have our entire day there and not arrive just super late at night. And we did make a few stops along the way, which was really fun. I highly recommend it. If you follow this itinerary, we're gonna have the best time ever. But we started at Caesaria, which is one of the most popular destinations ever. We got there at a perfect time because literally 30 minutes after the parking lot just like filled up and there were so many people. But if you get there early enough, you will have it to yourselves and it is beautiful. We made it to our first location Yay. in Caesaria and it is so beautiful here. So beautiful. And we're waiting for our friends to get here. But for now, we're just gonna make some coffee outside and look at the beautiful view. It's just so, so gorgeous. Nani is our expert coffee maker. Hey, go, boy. <laughs> oh, fun. I really wish this truck was not in the way. There we go. <laughs> Nani, they're fine. <laughs> we went to a spot that had the beach but also a view of the beautiful ruins. I think that's what you call them. I see them all over Instagram. I'm sure you guys do too. And it is just beautiful. Like this place is amazing. We decided to meet our friends there so we could have a little breakfast before we go. And my fiance, Danny, and I got there early enough to make some coffee out of our little finjan. I think that's what you call it. It's like a little coffee maker that every single Israeli has here. And we made some coffee, waited for our friends, watched a beautiful view, ocean view, and had a breakfast with our friends. And then we had some fun just taking pictures and videos of the ruins and everything. He's making it, he's, he's breaking his face. He's... 
kicking and jumping and doing shit. Kicking and jumping. <laughs> then we continued our drive up north to Puck Golan. Park Gorin. Puck Golan. Oh, I don't know, the Hebrew words here are so difficult. We just stopped in the best place for some falafel, pita, hummus. We picked it up for our um, trip to Pagore. Yeah, our trip. We're gonna eat some there. And Danny and I just had a little sneaky little piece of falafel to try, and it was yummy, yummy, yummy. <laughs> To the campground it was beautiful like am I being too dramatic probably but it was so beautiful like this place it was open people were having picnics and oh my god I don't know it's just like it was so beautiful we definitely have these places in Vegas like there are so many beautiful spots you can go camping in Vegas that I remember but here in Israel it's just it's crazy that you can go from a beach city to like the desert. Like I don't understand. Like it's just, it's so crazy. It's so nice. You can go from the beach city to the desert to the mountains. Like it's just, it's so crazy. And it's all in this one little country. It just blows my mind every single time. And you get there and you just see these beautiful hills full of flowers and trees. And it's just so breathtaking. And if you are an adventurous sort, I highly recommend you go and take this trip because it's just so beautiful. So when we finally got to the campground, we decided we must set up our tents and things so that we don't get stuck doing it in the dark. And uh, making a tent, putting up a tent, um, is not one of my specialties. I definitely just sat around and watched Danny do it. Um, at some point I felt obligated to help him and so I decided to hold the tent for him and that was my contribution. And then afterwards, I ended up setting up the inside of the tent. So yeah, if you need me to make a tent for you, I'm not the gal, I'm not the gal to do that. But I'm, I'm very thankful to have had people there put it together for me so that I had a beautiful roof over my head for the night. And I'm thankful that we had a roof over our heads because it was freezing at night. What's that? Uh, my little temple. <laughs> For what? what? What are you using that for? Uh, just to put it in the... In the... Ah, so it doesn't move. So we made it. Here's our tent. Their tent. This is our little area that we need to set up. We have a really nice place to do a fire at night. And it's just such a beautiful place. People are doing a little uh, picnic over there. We have another little picnic over here. We brought a whole lot of fruits and vegetables, a cutting board, all the stuff to make a beautiful dinner and the best wine. This wine is the shiznes. I don't know what it is about this wine, but it is so good. I've been dreaming about it ever since I had it. It's I want to call it like a half dry wine. I am no sommelier, but it was just really good. It's slightly sweet. So if you like red wines that are kind of sweet, this is just wow. Wow. It got really cold outside, so we all bundled up and we started a fire. Our firemen. Yeah, you know, I'm A very intimate lit dinner, but we're gonna eat over by the fire.
there's something about sleeping in a tent that's just like, that I love it. I love sleeping in a tent. I love waking up and open, unzipping the tent and you just look outside and it's just nature. Like I just love that. And the smell of like being outside and then you just go and make some coffee. It's just, I love it. I love it. But you wake up and you just, you don't, you don't look great. Okay, you don't look great. So if you're gonna go camping, just expect that you're gonna look a little tired, but that's okay, because that means that you had a fun night. So, yeah. Good morning. We just woke up not too long ago, and we came to the beautiful view to make some coffee. What is happening with my hair? I don't know. But that's what happens when you sleep in a tent, I guess. And we're gonna make some coffee, enjoy this beautiful view. Our friend should be walking over here soon. Look how beautiful this is. I looked a little crazy in the morning, but that's okay. It means that, um, it means that I m maybe didn't have the best night's sleep, but it does mean that I had the best time. And that is all that matters. So I, I just embraced the look and um, I hope you guys will too. After we decided to pack up everything, we drove to Haifa. And we went to Haifa because our friends wanted to try this vegan restaurant, which was very, very good. I highly recommend it. I got an iced coffee and they gave us some dessert. After our very good vegan lunch, we decided to drive to the Baha'i Gardens and Wow, this place is so beautiful. I have been already on Birthright, so I knew what to expect and what it was gonna look like, but it just doesn't get old. Every time I go, I, I just think it's the most beautiful place. We couldn't go in, it's, it was closed, but it was still worth it to see everything from the outside looking in, like from the top of the hill looking in. And if you ever get a chance to go to the Baha'i Gardens, I highly recommend it. Put it on your bucket list because it's just one of the most beautiful places ever. Haifa is a very beautiful city. It's very similar to San Francisco in the sense that it's all on a hill, like all on a mountain. Um, so you have very steep roads to drive up on. It's just an amazing place to visit and we took our time there because we were taking pictures, we might have made some more coffee, we were just taking in the views, laughing, having a good time, and yeah, if you get a chance to go to the Baha'i Gardens, I highly recommend it. Well, you guys, that's it. That was my camping trip. I hope you enjoyed. I hope this inspired you to go camping in your city, state, country, wherever you are, and if you ever get a chance to go to these places in Israel, I highly recommend it not be disappointed. The views are beautiful. You will get some great Instagram pictures or wonderful TikTok footage. Whatever you like. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to my channel. It would really warm my heart and <laughs> like this video. And if you haven't seen my other videos, I highly recommend